Vistella morning everyone. It's Sam and I again early in the morning. Well, not too early but the sun's nice. Hindi pa siya masadong out. And since the chickens are early birds, they wanted to go they want they go they wanted to eat. And well, I w dinala ko sila dito sa bilara ng mga manure. And here is our fourth day in experiencing the BSF harvest the black soldier fly larvae harvest composting or in our case being so busy you don't get to finish the job so the manure was collected and it was put in a sack in this place it's plastic because we ran out of sack na. um so that's plastic right there and the thing that the thing that's inside is pure manure this is quail manure, and look what it's done to my soil. Ang ganda, sobrang ganda. This is the leftover from what the from where the black soldier fly has laid eggs, and yan yung iniwan nilang klase ng lupa. That's what they've left of the manure. Incomparable to other patches here, see how muddy and compact the soil versus here that is loose and nice and healthy and teeming with fungi. The white thing that you see in here, where is my hand? That one, that's the fungi. They call it the fungi because it makes the, 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 the environment of your garden really rich. They're building a good community under there which makes your soil loose and good for living organisms. So it's a very different world out there. It's a very good community versus the one that's here that's super dry and muddy and here that is moist and loose. So this is what we aim to do inside our some black soldier fly larvae. Still, no, because they continue to to um, they continue to lay eggs in here. I'm sure. Why? Because kanina lang we were able to see some. This is not clean stuff. Disgusting to most, but. I am very happy because this will make this land that is barren and hardy into a rich, rich community, rich soil that will grow beautiful flowers, sweet, sweet vegetables, and sweet, sweet yield of the fruits. Everything that you will grow in here will become very, very healthy in a short matter of time. You don't have to do anything. Wala ka ng extra curricular activities na gagawin like the fertilizer and insecticide. Why? Because this is already rich when a person is really healthy. You don't need any medications even if people are sick around you. They will not, you will not get affected, infested or whatever. So that's what I really love about this. I've experienced natural farming way, way back and the yield is super incomparable to traditional farming wherein you need to use urea and the uh, manufactured fertilizers where, when in fact these things you don't need to buy them it's natural nature can produce them you have helpers in the farm that you can use and utilize for free it's both beneficial for you and you see that so there's the larvae in there they choose to um, pupae in here because it's cold and moist and they're they're eating the they're eating the nutrients from the manure well, that makes them grow when this larvae this right here the one that you're seeing with my hand the one that right, right there is a larvae when it turns black it will it will 
It will be on a um it it will be just like that for a few days until it um becomes a fly and the fly will produce you thousands and thousands of eggs that turns into larvae that turns into good natural feed for your chickens and fish and other actually yung iba sinasangag nila yon to make it into a pellet you don't need to cut it into anything but others still do the pelletizer so to make it um to make it last longer so we can store it in rainy days wherein you can't do much of the farming and you can't do much of anything especially in a place like this it's so hard na lahat to kokovera mo just to be able to work on the land or to get wet and stuff and the the rain <laughs> amazingly is abundant in the forest so we get plenty of rain even if they don't it doesn't rain downstairs where we call it sa town so i was able to lay out yung aming mga ano mga sacks but this is the thing that i opened half so that the chickens will eat it and now they're eating their vegetable they're eating their greens i mean so they know what to do it's na nature they eat meat they have protein and they have fiber so that they'd be their digestion is very good so it's the same thing with people it's so nice if it's in yeah my baby girl is having a picnic in there we just had her coffee <laughs> my mom will be disgusted i'm having coffee in the middle of work but i just couldn't help to have these girls eat so that they can give me good eggs later yes samaria and i found the word <laughs> this little girl interrupted me wanted to borrow the phone right now and this is the pupa stage of the black soldier fly larvae. Ayan, nag-black na siya. Gumagalaw pa yung iba, but itong isa talagang medyo ano na siya. Malapit na siyang mag migrate. Ang daming langgam sa paanan ko. Ayan. I learned that the ants team in very, very dry soil. So, if you want to get to get rid of the ants make it nice make it good so yon what i was what i was saying is that um the black soldier fly larvae will be in dormant stage i found the word the dormant stage and they will just be like that until they hatch into a fly and mate and the place where they want to mate are greeneries so this is the perfect place for them and we just have to lay out again the place where they want they would want to lay their eggs so that we can collect them ng maayos so we will close this like that and just leave it here if it's folded daddy will know that it has black soldier fly inside and if it's laid out it means you'd have to put manure in there the ones that we have here are chickens and rabbits. birds and rabbits because the quails are in the are downstairs in the other partner farm that we have so we'll be taking you there then when we get to have the tilapia yeah i hope that i i master the cycle um i get to be in between the cycle where like this again we're in the black soldier fly will do the laying for me the will provide me the good protein pellets my white hair hello and then what i was saying is that i i aim to replicate this system again this very very simple system na hindi namin kailangan mag-produce, nakawala na naman yata yung aso. Nakawala nga si Roxy. Oh my gosh, the Belgian Malamute is... Um, 
has not been ranged in a while and she's dying to go exercise her legs and she's may pinupunteria siya isang chicken lang it's so funny anyway so that's why i want i filmed today i wanted to be able to share with you that raising black soldier flies should not be in a very fancy way wherein when we were studying in the youtube university <laughs> mga suki din kami sa youtube before way way back when we were starting and we were so excited to have to have someone here in the Philippines to raise it. So um, BSF Novaisia is the one that where we get our eggs before. And actually, this is the batch that we're, where we got our egg. And we were able to hatch it and in the bin. But now, the substrate is manure. And we were able to, we were able to do it. Here, and what I'm saying is that it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be... But if you can, then it's good. But I'm saying... What I'm saying is that we can do things like this in a manner na we will just use the scraps or the ones that we have at home. See here, um, when we ran out of the sacks, we used the inside lining of the 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 sack which is the the plastic that is better that is holding better the moisture inside and the the black soldier fly loves it so they lay eggs in there meron pang naiwang you're the lucky one meron pang naiwan na you know larvae that's the one gumagalaw na yan that's the black soldier fly larvae so it's still eating this one it's probably just hatched in a few days pa lang ayan mataas pa ang ammonia from here so sumusingot singot na naman yung lola nyo um mataas ang ammonia and they can stand it it's okay with them so these things right here itong clump na to has eggs that's where they lay eggs because they want it moist so that's why meron pa akong mga hindi binubuksang mga sack so that some black soldier flies can still grow and hatch in there and while well, we're still preparing so we have still three and i believe that there, there are still a thousand in there probably a lot has already hatched and are mating somewhere in here yan so iwanan ko lang siya ng ganyan Yan, to not disturb them so much and then wait for this I actually want to move them to the sacks kaya lang malulutong na yung mga sako and it's so heavy because it's muddy soil I just put in half um, half rabbit manure in there but the rabbit manure quickly dries but the good thing about the rabbit manure is the, the mushrooms um, go around it and they create a good fungi for it so it's very good the rabbit manure is good to be dug to be put under your soil so that the fungi can quickly go inside and manipulate the soil that's going in there so we'll leave this and keep them for tomorrow and this and this and then start having something put up in there maybe i should lay out the eggs that were the the sacks where they humahapon where they go to sleep in it's amazing they go now after eating protein this is my rir junior buck and he's so big like that incomparable to the others because he, he he's very vigilant and he's very attentive whenever i call him he goes there and he knows what to find. Unlike the Orpington, ah, this big girl right here. She can't find the thing. <laughs> it's crazy. So in finding a good breeder, you need to find someone like this. Because he's very attentive. That way he grows so fast and he's better than the rest. So he would sell better. And also the Olive Agar girls are very very good very very good that's why they're they're very they're laying eggs now they're giving us green eggs and i'm so very very happy with them 
to those who know what this vine is this is um i really really like it i really i like that it's like that but it's wild so i'm growing them and i'm trying to make a trellis out of that so that i can have a beautiful shade whenever i go by here i can walk like a princess with the trellis and the flower i think it's nice i like i would I, this is one of the things that i want to do right now um i'd be asking the department of agriculture to help me id these things so that i'd be able to work on the land and work side by side with them to be able to educate people what to grow how to grow how to thrive in a place like this i have so many ladybugs i'm so happy ladybugs and the not so good bug <laughs> but let's let them thrive in here there are a couple more so nice when these good bugs are abundant in this place then you'd be able to grow very very healthy soil very very healthy produce from your land that's natural chemical free good for your kids good for your health good for your chickens and everything yep so many so that's all for today thank you guys for watching um see tomorrow how this manure will turn into this because they will keep on digging that if they come back here for some reason they don't want staying in here because it's probably so hot yeah yeah the ceramic i call this the ceramic the ceramic girl the bug yeah oh well, that's not the ladybug which is not a lady so goodbye for now and thank you guys for watching if you guys have learned something or is savvy in learning about these things growing things naturally and feeding your chickens naturally to grow food that is healthy and um cost almost cost free so stay in this channel subscribe like and subscribe and share this to other people please comment on the sections below the things that you would want to learn in this channel and we will feature them as we go about them so thank you guys for watching see you guys tomorrow bye